Hey guys, welcome to episode 11 of Okara Foundation Let's Play Survival. And this episode, we're going to be working on something huge. Before we begin, we should check on the Ocarius things, because I have added some new stuff since I was been last on. On last episode, this didn't record right. I added this at the end of last episode. I also added a Thorns 2 book, Mending, and then Armor. Um, that's pretty good armor. I've sold some of it so far. Um, I restocked this. That was almost empty. Um, we sold this. I had an ultimate pickaxe here, and that sold really well. We're selling um, stained glass and dyes. I'm not quite sure if I showed that last episode. But that's basically it from here. Um, but I basically have added some more stuff down here. Um, there haven't been any sales. They just collected the sales. Down here we have no meeting area for people. And in a little bit I'm going to be meeting with Fitzy for a business opportunity. So um, as you can see this is our diamond storage. Um, we have stocks and sales spreadsheet, um, villa spending, and business deals. Um, let's see. So as you can see, this is how this is how we're keeping track of all the stock that we have. Um, what we're selling, we're selling so many things. So four pages worth of stuff. So that's awesome. Um, villa spendings reports. Um, this is how much we spent on. Um, I actually already did the um, business thing with Fitzy. Um, which I'll show you guys a clip in a little bit. Um, that's how we got. Um, gunpowder deal, one shulker box for nine diamonds. So that's what we're gonna offer him in a bit. You'll see that clip in a second. And then, as you can see, we're currently at 59 diamonds. We started at 64, so we still got some more to earn before we're before we break even, basically. Um, but nonetheless, um, we have this little vault thing here, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I, th I like this little place. It's that's a neat little office building. And without further ado, here is my meeting with Fitzy. That me and I'm the village are suggesting is that we see that you have a gunpowder farm. Do you plan on using that for? Any shops, or that you're gonna sell stuff in the future? Besides, uh, the just the uh, rockets. That's all I really use it for. Okay, so what um, me and I'm the village's idea was was if we were to buy gunpowder from you, we could sell it here at this shop, and then you would get part profit from it. Here we go. I'll toss that over to you. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. It's How's you working with you? Now the big thing that we're going to be working on is something called. Basically the fortress, and me and I'm the villager, and Betsy Timmy are all gonna, I guess Stormy now, just change the username, but we're all gonna be working on a humongous fortress that we're gonna be using as new bases for all of us to basically live in and such. I'm gonna be keeping my normal base, my pyramid one, but I'm also going to be using that place a whole lot as well, so, um, let's get started with the building, and I'm gonna contact them, and then let's get together with them.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that time, time lapse I just did. Um, but here we are. It's basically this big um, castle fortress we did. And I we've added some more things since I've last um, recorded the little thing. Um, these pillars are not done. It's not even close to done yet. But we didn't have enough time in the entire day of working on this thing to even get it done. So, um, yeah, it's huge though. I think it's 50. It's more than 50 by 50. So, let's head back in and get and just look at everything so there's like a banquet hall there's um stairs there's like three pairs of stairs going upward here is our tnt farm um it farms cobblestone that is awesome i love that thing that's how we actually built this place if you didn't realize um and here is our super smelter that uses a zero tick bamboo farm though it looks like it's oh yeah i have it off right now i forgot and as you guys can, as you can see we are getting the stone by the dozen more than just a dozen actually but it's going very well so um before i turn this on i could actually show you guys how it works i can for a second or two i guess um basically just pushes the stone out and then tnt falls and destroys it which is really handy actually it breaks it and everything falls down into that waterway that most of it falls in the waterway and basically we just get lots of cobblestone and then we can take it all from down Turn that off first, though, because it is a laggy machine. There we go. All right, off. And then on here is where all the cobblestone goes, and we've used a lot of it already. Um, that's why these are all empty. Um, on obviously the floor, which is all cobblestone in this entire castle, and not just the floor though. The just building these the the bricks for this entire thing took forever, and. So let's go upstairs and see my base. So I've set up a little temporary base. See if I can find. This is a th throne room. It currently is just dirt, but that's the best we could do right now. So it'll have to work. I am easily gotten lost in this place. I will get used to it eventually, but it might take a little while. But I also have this little staircase to get some base, which I always forget is here. Um, Nick Nog's base. So I just have this little corridor here with chests and shulker boxes and more stuff. And some more building supplies I brought for. Basically for this place, um, I brought, that's a lot of wood by the way, the wood farm works again, I, it broke in between episodes, but I fixed it in between episodes, I hooked up a TNT duper to it, so I no longer have to craft the TNT myself. So yeah, that's awesome, we're going to be working here a little bit this episode, but there's one thing I want to show you still. Alright, finally found my way up here, it's like a maze in here, but this is the mob grinder that we have set up. So the entire, there's actually a top floor to this place, and the entire top floor is a mob grinder. Which I could show you guys, but I really don't want to go up there. Yep, see, there we go. There's a zombie right now. And then he'll die, and all the stuff will fall in the chest. We'll see if that happens. Yep, there's four, and there's three now. There's another zombie, so it's huge. Up there. You can kind of see the water that pushes him in. Um, it's huge. It's like a really old-fashioned one. So the ones that just waterways, and they fall in. But it's so big that I think it's pretty effective. And we're going to be stuffing this castle full of automated farms. So it's going to become a lag fest. But I do not care. It'll be awesome. And... It'll also be an absolute nightmare to get around in here, but I don't care. It's, it's worth it in the long run. Um, especially if the server goes into war again, this place will serve as a really safe place to be. Alrighty, in the next episode, we're going to be working on this place more, like adding something underneath it, maybe? That'd probably be a good idea. So it doesn't just look like a humongous floating castle, which is a bit strange. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya!